To be able to get this file, first you need to make sure that you have a GitHub account, which you should have created in Chapter 1, and you'll need to make sure that you're logged in at the GitHub site. So then you'll click on the link, and if it doesn't show your image here, you'll want to log in. If you're logged in, you can click this image here where it has a picture of a monitor. That'll allow this file to open in GitHub Desktop. So you want to allow it to open in GitHub Desktop and open the link. This will open it to where you can then open it with PyCharm. In this case, I'm having to search for PyCharm. I'm going to select it, and I'm going to choose Always Open With, so that Py files are always opened with PyCharm. Then I'm going to select Open. You'll notice that I have a file here with multiple to-dos. Each to-do, and we could see this in the tool windows, Each item here that says to do is something that you need to do. So to complete this, you're going to read each to do direction, and you're going to immediately after it write the lines of code it requires. For example, to do 2.3, and this refers to the section in your book that has the information on how to do this, tells you to display output with the string function. You're to write two lines of code. The first one displays your name, and the second one displays your major. So you will go in and do print, and you'll put in your name, which is probably not spelled your name, Y-O-U-R-N-A-M-E, so it would be something more like Mary Ingle. And it's okay if you get typos on this, it's not going to know your name. And then you're going to have a second line where it, where it displays your major. Right now I'm working on a PhD, so my major is instructional design. Yours is probably web development or graphic design or mobile design and development. And you can test this at each point, and you should test after each one of these. So you should be able to hit print, and I have a few things other here that are going to print up un underneath it that you're going to change later. So after each to-do, type in the code and then test it. Now you'll notice that I'm getting the green check mark here with three typos found. I'm not going to penalize you for typos because it may not know your name, but you can, if you want to, save this stuff in the dictionary. I'll still see that when I test it, but it won't be a big deal for you. So you'll complete each of these problems and then you'll submit the file and hand it in.